goddammit. Привет, брат. Not your goddamn brother. Let's turn in this quest first. Здравствуй. Ну, удачи тебе. See, I have some maps. Discount. I can't remember if I really went over this or not in a previous video, but uh, you can go to. Uh, okay, let's zoom out here. You can travel to the area around J J J J J J Jupiter straight from the get go. Straight as soon as you start the game. Well, not as soon. You need to get the money first. But, yeah, there isn't really too much reason to go directly there. And there's a lot of money and quests to be taken care of up in this uh, Zatan area. Of course, you cannot access Pripyat for quite some time. Of course, <laughs> it's just funny to think how completely screwed up the zone map is in this game compared to the previous ones. So if you remember, in the previous ones, it goes straight from Pripyat to the Chernobyl NPP. And now suddenly this area is here. And this suddenly this area is over here. Of course, none of the games were really all that properly set up compared to the... Uh... Как говорится, добро wow. пожаловать на борт нашего болотного ледокола. Wow, these people are loud with this sound profile. Okay, let's see. Make some loads of money off of these artifacts. Oh shit! Especially this one. Oh my god! Wow. Okay, I'll just buy one of these because I need to give Cardin some booze so he can actually repair my shit. Okay, I think that's a fair trade. Найдешь артефакты? Заглядывай, посмотрим. Yep. These uh, voice actors are hell of a lot better than whoever they got to do the English voices. Is my timer running? Yes, it is. What the? You a statue? If you've gone to the beach. Damn, these people are loud. Давай, давай, не задерживайся. Hey, what have I got in here? I've already got a 556 five, weapon. Get rid of that ammo. Ooh, suddenly I have a lot of 45 ACP. Oh, it's because I picked this thing up. Just put that away. This is my main 9x18mm weapon. Just to get rid of the hunger situation. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna sell that. I've already got this for that caliber. You know, it's kind of a crappy rifle. Uh, maybe I'll place an order with Nimble up there and see what he can get me. Okay, don't really need to get rid of this or really do anything at all to it. Hmm. What are you, a statue? You got something? Spill the beans, blah blah blah. Christ, these people are so fucking loud. <laughs> Ooh, he's already drunk, so I don't need to give him any more booze. Unfortunately, I'm going to kind of spoil the game here, but you can't get the calibration tools until you open up the way to Pripyat, which is pretty far off. Let's see, let's take care of this shit. And clearly, a lot has been opened up 
through these new sets of tools. This is before I do this, I had to place the order for the weapon so I can make sure I have enough money. Privet, I want to place an order. So, ooh, I can order a sniper. Then again, that will probably give me a proper sniper rifle, for which ammunition is very rare. And that's a lot of money. And so is that. I'll wait till I've got a lot more money. Right now I need to blow this all on upgrading. Reliability or okay, recoil is easy to take care of with a semi-auto. So I'll just go for the other thing first. Okay, accuracy, certainly. Now what about shotgun? Flatness or recoil? I'll go with flatness. Recoil is kind of useless because it's pump action. Handling or reliability? Well, it doesn't seem to be breaking, so let's go with that. Accuracy or recoil? I'll go with this. Let's see, what else can I update to this? Make it more reliable. Handling or recoil? Recoil is easy to take care of, make it more reliable, and with plus 30% in reliability already taken care of, I'll just go with flatness. Let's see, the money's just going down the drain now. Radiation or psychic? Hmm. Well, I've already got this helmet for radiation. And psi. This is getting a little more interesting. So, bullet protection or suit durability? Most of the damage I take is from bullets anyway. Uh, let's see, fire or chem and electric. Let's go with this one. And extra speed regeneration or carry more stuff. Simple. Real easy choice to make. I'm not too interested in increased magazine ca capacity, so I'm going to kind of avoid that. Let's see. Recoil reduction on this gun? Definitely. Whoa. Okay, I don't feel like checking what that is. It's probably something about an emission. Let's see. Yep, I can tell by the change in the ambient sound. Two piston gas regulator. Seems kind of strange to have to upgrade reliability on an op Optimac Lashley Covid rifle. Okay, that was redundant. Kalashnikov means rifle, I do believe. Or maybe not. I don't remember. Let's see, rate of fire. Okay, fire rate is definitely high enough on this thing. And I get to upgrade it down here, anyways. Let's have a look over here. I've certainly got enough leftover money, I can probably upgrade all of this. So, let's see, what have I got to work with here? Hmm, high contrast sight, yep. Recoil reduction, yep. Mm, handling. I think I'll leave those alone for now. I'm seeing that I'm running it low on ammo. Let's see, bulletproof, yep. 
Ooh, what are these? Ooh. Tough choice, and I'm running out of money to deal with this sort of thing. I hope I didn't spend money on upgrade. Good, I didn't. I was gonna say. Can't afford mag size on that. Durability or lightweight. Well, I've got this for lightweight. This is supposed to be a heavy duty tank uniform. So now I'm broke, but everything's upgraded as it needs to be at this point. What's with all the firefights out here? Okay, idiots. You can just kind of die out there. Actually, no, this is a good thing. This means free loot. <laughs> I'll deal all. I'm in cover already, what are you talking about? Oh god, the frame rate. Yep, everybody's dead. Loads of looting. Oh! Okay, these are all stalkers. What were they shooting at? I don't see any bandits around here. running away. God damn. Oh hey, dead bird. Let's see. Do a little bit of quick repairing. Stop. Okay, 1167 is the ammo I have now, or the money I have now. Well, it's not much, but it's a profit. Ooh, forgot to sell these.
Okay, so suit repairs aside and Здравствуй, their uh, associated costs. Uh, still made a profit off that sale. Definitely a good thing. I can't really do anything because I need to loot again. Oh, don't tell me you took it all. Bastards. Run. Freeze. Too overloaded, damn it. Whoops. I think I'm going to title this video How to Make Money in Call Appropriate. Another person up this way. I want to see if that's a bandit or some, or if it's a stalker. Well, that's a stalker, but there's apparently somebody alive in this area. Yep, don't get it at all. Let's see, are these stalkers or are they bandits? Stalkers, leave them alone. Okay, now this Hercules seems kind of wasted. Because I'm not carrying quite as much stuff as I could be. Damn it, Degaturov, stop sprinting. Здравствуй. I'm without a doubt going to be making a lot of profit off of this one. <laughs> Again. No, the broken and drajali. Yes, to a steady hand. Yes, to a good day's work. Это что работа спорилась. Let's see, repair. 
repair all this crap and sell it back. No need for question marks because it's just going to be pure profit. Right, and to make showing all this on camera worth the time. Basically, this is how you make loads of money in this game. Besides uh, artifact hunting. Because artifacts are definitely always going to give you a lot more money per item. There's apparently a firefight going on. And there's a potential for looting and money. Damn, this gun is wild. Who's the bitch now? He looks to be you, trench coat bastard. Oh shit! More of them. Haha, <laughs> he's down. It's what you get for getting fellow stalkers. Okay, I, I think that I think by this point you get the idea here. So I'm gonna do the rest of this off camera. They should make a pretty good amount of money. And basically, well, so far it's been pretty successful to just keep going back to this area and occasionally stopping by over here. Because a lot of bandits and uh, loners end up clashing right around there. So, lots of loot to be had. Damn it, didn't happen. I'll shoot your dog. Не 
Внимательно следи, как я иду, а потом сам двигай. What he says there, I believe, is pretty much basically uh, a quick save. <laughs> it's easy, just follow me. Whoa. But of course, he is not here. Not entirely sure what he says there. It's been a while since I've heard that one in English, but... Either way, we're near the helicopter. I need to set the quest. And there is a shit ton of snorks in the area. So you can go around the outside, over, outside around that way, if I remember right. Or you can go through this cave. I choose the cave this time. Hmm. Maybe I should have kept a bit more of this shotgun ammo. <laughs> what was this guy's name again? Smolyak. No. Senior Lieutenant Smolyak. Woe Umerov. Timer went off a few seconds back, but I think I've got enough spare time to uh, show this area off. Our uh, deceased military buddies seem to have held off some of the snorks, at least. And I see two contacts on the radar. I am wary. Так, данные с бортового... Ага. У Ската-3 отказали оба двигателя. Так, что тут у нас еще? Карта, и на ней отметки предположительных точек эвакуации. Б-2, Б-28, Б-205. Интересно. Ha, ah, beat the system. Maybe. Now, English translation of that uh, cutscene. Once again from Buktis, or however the hell you pronounce that. Information on the onboard computer. Okay. So Stingray 3 had engine failure in both engines. Hmm. What else is there? A map with what look like possible evacuation locations. Positions B2, B28, and B205. Interesting. 